Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I'm very excited to show you a pretty innovative little new collection from Huda Beauty. This is called the, well, this is the additions, I should say, to her Nymph collection. Nymph standing for Not Your Mama's Pantyhose because, because this started out as a liquid product that you could put onto your legs so that you could avoid wearing pantyhose. You could just, you know, cover up any imperfections and make a little bit of sheen on there. Some said it also stood for Not Your Mama's Powder Highlighter, but I do see that Huda is sticking with the Not Your Mama's Pantyhose and she is expanding the line. So I picked up three of the products. There's a few more than that and some brushes, but I tried to pick up what I saw as the most collectible, most innovative, and interesting. Let's actually start with an all-over highlighter. This is her uh, Glow Helios. It's a copper rose highlight. Let me show it to you guys if I could get it open. My goodness. It's a copper rose highlight that works best for the richer and deeper skin tones. I'll tell you about that in a minute. This can be used on your body, on your face, on your eyes. We're going to use it on my eyes today. I'll show you in a moment. It has no fragrance and this really sparkly, beautiful kind of two colors that you see, almost three colors that you see going on here, is not an overspray. You could take a big knife and go through this and it runs all the way through. It has a nice little handy mirror here and a beautiful big size so you could swirl all around in there or you can do what I will do today in our demo and that is I picked, um, you know, kind of cherry picked little shades that I wanted to use. Now, like I said, this is a great uh, face highlighter for the deeper, darker, richer skin tones, as opposed to something a little something I got right here, which is uh, the other All Over Glow that was released in the shade Flora. This was earlier, and I have to be a little bit careful because my Flora needs a little bit of super glue on it. Here was the original one. I'm holding that in a little bit with my finger because it wants to fall out. And as you see, that is for lighter skin tones. And now you see what Huda has done here with the Helios version. This is Flora, the lighter, and Helios for darker, deeper skin tones, or for someone like me who would like to use, I don't care, I use it as a highlighter anyway, but you can also use it on eyes. Um, and it is, I will try here to swatch both. Here is the lighter shade, here is the darker shade. So we got the lighter and then that real gold. And they are both in there. That is from the same palette I just dipped. And let's see if I could get that onto my arm well for you guys to check out there. So those are two very distinct and different shades. And you can swirl them together. They are both in this All Over Glow Helios palette, which is uh, $55, I should have told you, on uh, currently on the Huda Beauty site. I'm sure it'll come out to other retailers soon. But right now, that's where it is, and I do, I believe I have it linked below. If I don't have a link for it, I will get one up there darn soon. Now, let's talk about the other two really innovative products that are, I'm really interested in. The first is the Kiss Glow Blush. This is a new little powder blush. It's $39. It's a duochrome. I have it on now. Purposefully overdid it. Um, in the demonstration that I filmed before this intro and so because I really wanted you guys to see what this does It's buildable. It has multi dimensions. It's a blush highlight blend really it could be used with either without any sort of glitter in it um, Let me show you what it looks like. You're kind of seeing a preview on my face right now It's pretty crazy and innovative. Take a look at it. It's also got that beautiful rose pattern on it I am going to swatch it right here for you as well it has this one is not like, you know, with the Helios, I was able to touch and swatch different areas of it. This kind of is all in one, but you can see how many dimensions. I hope that's being picked up. We have there. Let's just stick it right here. Um, it's almost appearing to me right now gold, but it will also go, I don't know what it's doing for you on camera, but it will go pink, purple, depending on how that you turn it and how the light hits it. It goes, like I said, pink, purple, and gold. It's kind of wild and innovative and certainly interesting as a blush. We do discuss during the demonstration that it might not be best if you have texture on your skin that you're, you know, worried about showing. I say go show it off anyway, but I do understand we all have our things that make us uncomfortable. That's what makes us human. So, you know, use at your discretion. It is a bit glowy. You can also just use it as a highlighter or even on the eyes. I use it today as a blush and highlighter and purposely go overboard because I wanted you to see how kind of fun it is. 
But then we have my favorite of the three products that I picked up, because I think this is really cool. There's three shades in this. This is, this is the only one that has a shade choice of the new releases. This is the Glaze Skin Perfector. I picked mine up in the shade Aphrodite. I probably could have gone a bit lighter. This is really interesting. This is $35. Like I said, it comes in three shades. And what this is, is a cream product that can be used in a few different ways. It can be used as a base or primer for makeup to kind of hide imperfections, large pores, fine lines, and then you can put your makeup over the top, or you can just put it on over the top as a cream highlighter. I used it under the makeup today, which you're not seeing perfectly right now because you are getting this very, very blushy from the Kiss Glow blush that I put over it, but you will see it in just a moment in the demo. Um, I, let me get you guys up close and see if that will really show. I'm trying to turn it so that it hits the light the right way. Um, like I said, I got the shade Aphrodite. I probably could have gone a bit lighter, but it's. I, I'm sure you could wear it instead of makeup, but I don't really see Huda Beauty saying to do that. And I don't know if I'd advise it. You might look a little too golden. Let me show you Aphrodite. Like I said, that's the shade I picked up right here on my arm. And you'll see, you'll say, oh my goodness, Rebecca, that is too dark for you. Not really, when you blend it out, let me just show you there. When you blend it out, even on my really pale arm, you can see that it kind of starts working. And then in the demo, I'm gonna put a really light foundation over the top so we can just kind of play with it and see how that goes. Let me show you my arm again with all this golden beauty on there. I wanna come back with literally nothing on my face so I can show you the Glaze Skin Perfector on bare skin. And then we can kind of play with it and build it up and see what happens with it. Really interesting, innovative products once again from Huda Beauty, so stay right there. Okay, nothing at all on my face. Actually, I lie. Little bit of that new hydrating power bullet in baby face, I believe. Yes, I would put it below. But a little bit of that because my lips were feeling a little bit dry and that's got a tad bit of color. But other than that, totally fresh faced. So let's try this, shall we? I am going to remember that this new Glaze Skin Perfector, if I can get it open, can be used under makeup, but it can also be used as, it can also be used as a highlighter, but I think we got enough glowy things happening. So let's try it the same way that I would normally use my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's just use it that way. Uh, as you see, I'm holding in my hand uh, the foundation type brush from the Sonia G Fusion Set, which is meant for kind of creams and liquids. This is a cream. So I thought it would kind of be good. So I'm just gonna go in here and you can see it sitting on the brush there. And ooh, I hope I got the right shade. Well, it's gonna have foundation over it. It looks like I actually could have gone maybe a tad bit lighter on the shade. This is me trying it for the first time with you guys. I'm going to put some foundation over it. Oh, yeah, that's not bad as it spreads out. I think when, it, when I first apply it, see when I just stick it in a gob like that, which, you know, who would do that? I think it, almost appears a little dark. I'm going on the eyes as well because I do that with the Charlotte Tilbury product. I'm gonna run it down here. <coughs> Pardon me while I clear my throat there. Ooh, it's very golden. This is an interesting product and it's a little bit different as well. Uh, when it was first released, I was curious because I kept thinking of the Glowish that she did, which is also very kind of a glowy liquid product. So I was almost a little bit confused as to what the difference is, but I see it now. This is definitely uh, much more golden, you know, I mean, obviously depending on the shade that you get. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It's just interesting the way it's applied. I mean, obviously you can use a, a sponge if you prefer, or a synthetic brush, or an undyed goat's hair brush if you want. I mean, there's a lot you can use. I just chose this one. So that's interesting. The question is if I applied if I applied some concealer, could this almost just, is it too bronzy to go alone? I don't, I mean, do whatever you want with your makeup. There's no rules, but I'm not really seeing any of the, the Huda sites suggesting to just wear it on its own. It generally says kind of a primer or uh, it could be also just kind of go over makeup as a highlight. You know, you gotta be careful that you don't look like one of those guys who pretends to be a statue for spare change. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll take the spare change though. All right, let me put on a little bit, just a little bit of foundation over and let's see what it looks like. Stay right there. Okay, you're getting a great before and after. So you saw it with just the glazed skin perfector on. And now what I did, I could have put a full coverage foundation over and we would know that would be fine. So I thought, what if I did something really light? And you guys know I'm loving this Tarte Hydroflex. I'm just, it's almost used up and it's got my filthy little hand marks all over it. But I wanted to see what it would do when I put a light, almost serum-like foundation over it. And I think it works. So let me tell you what I did. I didn't have you sit through it. You know how to put on foundation. You're getting a before and after though. So this is the Tarte directly over the skin glaze. And then we don't have, we haven't, we still have more products to play with, so stay there. I used a little bit of the NARS color corrector in the lightest, just on some of the areas that were really kind of red. And I put on some <coughs> Huda mascara, legit lashes mascara. That's it. So now let's play with the blush and I have a little something up my sleeve for the All Over Glow Helios. But first, let's play with this really pretty blush, which you've seen, <coughs> pardon me. All right, let me take out my, okay, this is gonna be glowy, look out if you have texture. Who cares though, let your texture show. It's made you who you are, it has gone through the years with you. I'm just saying, if you're concerned about it, generally this glow won't help. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it is glowy, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's see if it picks it up. So what we're getting, and I'm gonna overdo it here on purpose which isn't hard for me to do, but I just really want it to show. So we're getting this kind of, wow, 3D multi-dimensional. Are you seeing this? We're going, pur I'm really overdoing it to make sure you see it. We're going purple, we're going pink. Let me just see. There we go. We're going purple, we're going pink. I mean, it's a lot. I do not have texture and I'm actually, creating texture. I mean, who cares? It's so pretty. But um, I don't know if I would rather have this as a blush or a highlighter. I just know it's gosh darn pretty and it's super unique. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I'm not gonna do any more with that. Like I said, I did go pur purposely a little bit overboard on it. Now, we have this all over glow, kind of a Helios Copper Rose. Gorgeous and really is a nice highlight for deeper skin tones. Let's do just a little bit of a highlight with it. Um, I'm sure it's not, I don't need another highlight. I wonder where I'm going this afternoon. This will be interesting. They'll see me <laughs> from the space station. Okay, I just want, I don't care that this is a little bit darker. This is great if you have deeper skin tones, but I don't care. Um, I like it on me too. Why not? Okay, let's go in here to this lighter shade and let's, I have a little bit of mascara on so I'm a little backwards here but I just thought it would be fun to just apply this with a shadow brush. And I, what I'm doing is, uh, guys, I'm working into this lighter area here and I'm just gonna put it onto my eyes. Oh, make a wish. I had an eyelash there, okay. In your culture, if you're not from the United States, comment below. Did you guys make a wish if you lost an eyelash? So look what I'm doing. I am just putting the lighter shade there. And now I'm gonna take the same number one refer, which is one of my favorites, and go into this really kind of golden one and just kind of put the more golden shade, as you can see there, into, again, I have mascara on already, but into the crease. And it is sparkly, but, and I have hooded eyes. It's supposedly a no-no, but I'm just kind of, using the darker of the two. And I was just trying to give my eyes a little bit of light for those no makeup, sunny summer days. And I have definitely gone overboard on the glow, but I really wanted you to see that quite unique, like incredibly unique um, blush product that the Kiss Glow. Wow, that is kind of crazy. Huda is an innovative lady. My goodness, that's pretty cool. I think the winner of the bunch well, actually, I think it's three winners. If you have a deeper, darker, rich skin tone, then this is a great all over highlighter for you, especially if her first highlighter missed you out. So that is a really fun addition. This blush 
I think is incredibly unique. I cannot stop staring at it in my little mirror here. It just goes every color of the rainbow. It is definitely kind of this multi-dimensional, crazy, um, I, I don't even know what you call it. it it's just um, very unique. Prismatic? Yeah, prismatic. Let's go with that. Um, and that is, that's depending on your taste. Would you like something this bright? Would you wear it? Okay. But let's talk about the Glaze Skin Perfector. I am going to continue playing with this because this is a first impression. And I have put this very crazy blush highlighter over the top. So, and I have gone overboard on it. But aside from all that, when I came back on and just had this on and a very light kind of serum-y foundation, I was pretty darn impressed. It's interesting, and I probably could have gone maybe, maybe a little bit lighter on my shade choice. You guys can tell me what you think, but when I get my correct color of foundation over the top, uh, you know, my forget the fact that I've got this purple pink shift going on on my cheeks, I'm pretty darn impressed for a summery look. I do not know. This again is very young, the blush, and very kind of fun and wild, and that's just a taste preference. But in terms of this, uh, in terms of this, in the skin perfector to kind of perfect pores and things before you put on your makeup and concealer, I think it's pretty cool. But I'm going to keep playing with it. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's more innovative products from Huda, really, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are. And if you're picking any of it up, leave your comment below, of course. And if you need anything swatched, um, it's not similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood um, flawless filter at all. That's a liquid product. This is a cream. Uh, they don't seem to be the same at all, though can be used for the same purposes, okay? But they're not the same product. But anything that you want swatched and compared or whatever thoughts you have, leave them down below in comments and give this video a thumbs up if you had a good time with me and I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.